Sky. Today I'm going to show you how you can use CMS inside the, your DivHunt project. So in this example we are going to create a simple blog. So this blog has just a simple page where all, blo all blogs are shown. And we have a single page here. And we don't have some crazy uh, data. We have just a title, short description, publish date, cover image and the content. And that's it. Um, in this tutorial I'm not going to start uh, by creating all of this from scratch. I already created this. If you want to learn how you can create static part of this, you can check some of our previous tutorials and you can learn how to create from scratch, you can learn how to use sections or you can start from a template. So it's up to you. We have all kinds of tutorials so you can learn how to get to this point. So let's start uh, by creating collections. First thing what you need to do is to install collections. So that's if you go to the settings here. Let's go uh, browse applications and just click install collections. I already have it installed so I will not do that. I will just go uh, directly to collections. So here let's create a collection called posts. And now let's go to the settings. Here you can see two options. You can create tabs and you can create sections. This is for your organization. This is perfect for a big CMS uh, items. For example, imagine you are creating landing page uh, which needs to be a CMS. So you would need to split content into a hero section, CTA section, testimonials, content and stuff like that. Perfect way to do is that uh, through tabs. If you need something simpler, uh, sections are good enough. So in this uh, example, let's just create a section called basic. Uh, here we have a fields short description. Here we have a couple of options. So first one you see is long text. So in this example, we want this field to be long text. And we have in settings width. Width is basically one more thing for your organization. So if I select here width 50%, my field is going to take half of the total space and if I create now a publish date field so let's create that one and if I select also 50% width it is going to be side by side if I create a new field rich text content and I leave it on 100% and go save it is going to look like that and one more thing we are missing is a cover image And we are done. This is all information we need so far. I will just create to show you how sections work. So I will create just SEO section for example. And here we can add data like meta description. And let's set also uh, to long text. And we are done with creating our uh, collection. So let's finish editing. And now when I click add new item here, let's call it my first first blog post. I can fill that data and our fields are structured in uh, exactly the same way as we created it before. So we have a short description and publish date side by side. We, we have a content here, we have a cover image and below we have a section SEO with meta description field. <coughs> I will skip this part of me adding content, so you don't need to watch that. This is pretty simple, so you can type here short description, you can set, you can set the publish date uh, and stuff like that. Only thing I will show you here is uh, this rich text area. So basically it's pretty simple, but you can click uh, this plus icon and you can see what options we have. We have a simple text, we have headings, uh, raw HTML, uh, lists and image. And if I type something, I can also uh, put part of this to italic or board, bold, or I can uh, link, for example, this to, let's say, theifcan.com, and you can do all kinds of stuff. Also, you can switch something, uh, if you decide to switch something from paragraph to heading, you can, you can also do that by doing this, and now I can uh, pick what heading is this, and stuff like that. It's pretty simple and powerful. So I will stop now. I will just add like six or seven blocks so we can use them on front end. 
and that's it. Okay, so I created five blogs. They are all the same. They have just a different title and different cover image. So let's check one, for example. So we have some uh, description. We have public uh, published date. We have uh, some content. We have heading paragraphs, uh, list items, uh, one image, and at the bottom I added the one simple iframe from YouTube. We have cover image and meta description. That's it. All five items are pretty much the same. So we will start connecting them now on our website. So first let's collect, uh, connect the blog page. So on this page, how do we do this? Basically this item, this one card needs to be repeating. So in, if, I, if I have five items in blog, I should get five cards. This means I'm going to connect my collection to this item that I want, want to repeat, be repeating. Okay, so let's click on that item, go to Advanced tab here, uh, we go Source, Select Source, Posts. Now we have a couple of options like Properties, Sort, we can do Sort by Publish Date, that's the best. Let's set Publish Date and we go Save. And now we got five items. Now everything is the same because we didn't connect any fields, so now we need to connect Title, Description and Image. So let's by going start by Title. We click on that title, we go to the settings tab here and now in the content, if I write something here, test, it is going to say test, but we want this to uh, be dynamic, to take title from the collection of course. So how do we do that? We click on this icon var and we will get all sorts of data that we can connect from our collection. So in this case we need this name, so if I click on that I will see here preview what I'm actually going to get from the item I clicked. So just save and we got our blog posts. And they are sorted by our published date in, in the backend. Let's do the same for our short description. So it's exactly the same. Just save and that's it. And for image, if I go click on image, I don't have that var icon here, button, so I can't open that pop-up. One workaround before we add it here also is to temporarily uh, create one paragraph and uh, select image inside that paragraph and uh, we will use that uh, variable inside our Im image. Let me show you. So in this paragraph I want to get uh, image URL. So I will click on that, click here and find my image. So that's discover image and I would, I would want to click on file and that will give me a link for uh, my image. So let's save and I get this in my content. Okay, I can now copy this and I can go on my image and just paste that here. And my images, we can delete uh, this extra paragraph now. Okay, now when we finished our uh, blog page, we need to connect our single page. And uh, first, before we start connecting fields, if I click now on heading one, and I click uh, this button, I will see that I don't have these informations. That's because this page currently doesn't know where to take information from. So we need to tell to this page, you are going to be single page of our uh, CMS posts. So how do we do that? We go to the pages, we go right click to the block single, we set source to be posts. And now this page becomes a single page of our posts. And now if I click on this heading one and I click again on var, now I get all of this data. And if I click now name, save, I get my name. And I will do that for the rest of the content. So let's do the same for short description. Let's do publish date. I will do the same trick that I did for uh, here for images. I need to do it uh, the same way here. So I'll just duplicate this paragraph. I will try to get my uh, URL inside there. Save and I, I copy this and paste it here and I get my image. Rich text, same way. We click plus var. We find our content and click save and we got our, our content. So basically we connected now all the fields. Only thing we need to do now, 
is I don't like uh, this uh, paragraph. I mean this date. It's pretty ugly and we, I want it to be better. So how do we do that? We use functions. Functions are very powerful thing in div hunt and you cre can create your own functions when you need something more. We will explain that in another video. But here I will just explain you how you can uh, format this date to look better. So we will go click on uh, again on this button and here we will add function and we have all kinds of functions you can play around with and also as I said you can create your own but I'm looking for a function date and now here I can put what format I want this is a bit tricky I mean it is using PHP date formatting so letter D is date letter M is month and uh, letter Y is uh, year. So if I save now, it is going to show me like this, but I want after month to put a comma. And now it's perfect. We will uh, we will create a separate video for these functions where we will where we will be explaining this all in details, but for now uh, it's good enough for you just to know it's possible to do anything with with the functions. Okay, so we connected our wall page. We want to start styling this and we will also need to connect uh, links here. So let's by start by styling. How do we style this? We are going to do this everything through child selector. So let's click on uh, rich text and here we can click uh, on child selector and now we can uh, select what childs are we, are, uh, we are going to target. Images, videos, anything. So let's style heading 2, let's put a margin of 20 at the bottom and 40 on top. Uh, let's style a list. Lists look already pretty good. I want to make a spacing between image. So I'll go now and select uh, images. I want images also to have maybe 40 margin on top, 40 on bottom. And I want to style uh, this video. Actually, I can't style that video because I added this as uh, like uh, custom HTML. So if I want to add margin above on that video, I can do it in my collection, in that custom code I added. But for now, what I can do is to put paragraph uh, margin margin on all paragraphs. So let's do that. Let's select. Uh, all paragraphs and put margin bottom 20 and now we have spacing there also. You can also change colors, you can change font sizes, anything you can achieve with this. I will not go into every single detail. This looks good enough for me. And yeah, we connected our blog. Uh, what we didn't connect is maybe this link. Let's do that. Just select page to go to blog posts. That's good. Okay, now only thing that is left to do is actually to connect these links and to create uh, this uh, blog post to actually work. When I visit the page, I want this to work. So here we see that I'm missing like slash something. So how do we do that? We go to the pages again, blog single, right click. And here we are going to type slash two dots slug. And this is going to dynamically take slug from our collection. This process is going to be simplified, but currently it's it is working and you can create any slug you want. For example, you can create slug like this and it is going to work. Only this part is dynamic and it is taking data from our uh, collection. And as I said, we are going to simplify this, just this. Maybe in a moment you are watching this video, this might be already simplified and you will not need to do this but for now it is like this and now that works and all i need to do now is to link these blogs so let's do that i click on my item select page to be blog single and if i go to the advanced tab now i can click here on slug in a route variables i can click on slug and just put uh, slug there also as a var vari variable so let's click that save and we are all done. This one will be also simplified 
just it is currently working like this because this is a beta of our CMS. So let's go now to the our blog post page on the live website. And if I click my second blog post, it is going to open this one. If I go back to all blog posts, let's open this one. Everything is working fine. Okay, if you have any questions, please share with us in the comments below.